Hello guys, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about the results tracking sheet feature inside PT Distinction. So first of all, let's go and take a look at the results tracking sheet and explain what it is and kind of how it works and how you might want to use it inside your business. Now you can find the results tracking sheet in two areas of your PT Distinction account. One is at the client level and two is at the group level. So to start off, we're going to go and take a look at the client level. So I'm going to type an example client. We're going to go and take a look at that example client side here. So we're going to head over to setup and we're going to go down to tracking. What we're going to do here is open up our results tracking sheet. Now, before we get into the results tracking sheet, I want to quickly talk about the tracking area itself and these tracking items down here. The first thing you want to do is think about these tracking items as more features that you switch on and off. The way you switch them on and off is to do with the active status down here. At the moment, you can see all these uh, features here. Uh, their status is set to active. Now, if you want to change that, you can click the drop down menu. And on here, you can click set status and you can change it from active to inactive. This basically means that this feature will be switched off for the client and they can't see anything to do with that particular feature. Now you'll notice in this one, this one, and this one, the options are the same as view, set status, and add to schedule. Results tracking sheet though is slightly different. We have view and edit, set status, and add to schedule. And that's because unlike these other tracking features here, the results tracking sheet we can edit and we can add content to. And what we can do here is add a form of tracking to that particular sheet. And then within that tracking, we can decide on what kind of record sets we want to track for our particular client. So let's go and look at how we actually do that. First of all, hit the drop down menu, you're going to click view edit, to open up our results tracking sheet. Now, when you first get into here, it'll be empty. It will look like this. And obviously there's no tracking set up yet for this particular client. So what we're going to do now is look at setting up some tracking. The way we set up tracking is by going to the add tracking button. And you can see we have custom, preset, and template. Custom is where you'll create your own. Preset allows you to insert the body fat percentage calculator that's built into PTD if you want to use that. And we have templates where you can actually pull from your templates if you have any templates saved. And we can look at how to do that in just a moment. We're going to use custom in this example. And of course, down here, just like any kind of content we add into PT Distinction, we can decide whether it's inactive, live, or set date to go live. We want to drip feed it out to the client. So I'm just going to go and set up now a weekly tracking. Now, of course, you can set up any kind of tracking you want inside here. You can do measurements, you can do um, different weights, you can do any kind of habit tracking, track sleep, track steps. Literally anything you want to track, you can track inside the results tracking sheet. So I'm going to go and add this in. We're going to make this live and go straight away. At this point, it's going to ask me if I want to put in any record sets. So these record sets are what we actually want to track within the tracking we've just set up. So I'm going to click yes. An example might be here, uh, body weight. So I'm just going to type in weight. At this point, then we can choose any of the units from the list in here. If you can't find the unit inside that list, you can click add units. You can type in the unit that you want to add in. So type in unit. Click add. Or if you want to remove a unit from that list, you can click remove units and you can choose whatever units you want to remove. And then just decide on whatever it is you want to put in here. So I'm just going to go for now, uh, I'm going to go for kilograms. I'm going to click add. Now at this point, we just have weekly tracking that is set up to record just weight in kilograms. Now we may want to add some more record sets to this. The reason you might want to add more record sets for this is because that data can then be compared directly with each other. So let's take a look at how you do that. You'd head to add. Inside here, you can then go and put in something like, let's say, waist size. Again, we can choose the unit of measurement. So I'm going to go centimeters, click add, and add it in. And we can have as many record sets as we like inside here. So like I said, the advantage of that then is we can actually view the results once clients have entered it. You can see inside here, we can actually have direct comparisons then against the different results that have been added. Now, of course, you can add results into this as well for the client by clicking add progress and just type in whatever you want to put in. So you can just put in going to put a couple of numbers in here like so we can even add notes in here as well if you want to add notes in and then choose the date on here and click save and that information has been added in and then you can keep adding in different information each week if you want to again it's going to put some more inside here click save again because that data has now been added in on a different date if you want to edit any of that data that the clients put in you can click the little edit icon inside here and that will allow you to change that data to a different one it's worth noting though as well that when you click add progress, if you go on to say the six here, you'll see now a new set has been added in. But if you switch back to set one, you can see the original data that's been entered. So these sets here are just a number of data entries for that particular date for those different um, tracking items or record sets in here. So just bear that in mind. 
Now, once you've actually got data inside here, you can actually start to view a chart. This chart then will actually plot out that different data inside here. It's really, really useful for comparing data uh, for your clients and showing them how they're progressing over time. You also have the option to show calculations. So inside here as well, you can do average over the past seven days. You can do all time minimum max. Also, you can do all time percentage change. Again, these are all useful uh, bits of data that you can use with your clients and also for you to try and help you make decisions when it comes to changing stuff inside their program. At the moment, we just have one type of tracking inside there. I've mentioned you can have multiple record sets within that tracking, but you can also have multiple tracking within the tracking. So we have weekly tracking there. We can also then have monthly tracking. So we can have as many different items of tracking as we like. So I'm just going to put monthly tracking. Inside here, I'm just going to click add. And we'll add a record set in. I'm just going to go inside here, uh, total weight lost. Nice and simple. I'm going to do that in kilograms. And again, I'm going to click add. So now we have a monthly tracking and we have a weekly tracking setup. Now, before we come out of this, I want to come down to this section here and hit the drop down menu. You can see we have an option here to delete. We also have an option to edit when live, just like we've done with um, normal content inside P2D. We have the option to copy to other clients and groups, and we have the option to copy to templates. So these same features that we have when we add content into our client anyway, we also have inside here for each of these tracking items. So if you wanted to save this as a template so you can use it elsewhere, you can simply come inside here and just click copy to templates and give it a name and click save and it will save it inside your templates. So that means then when you want to add more tracking in, all you'd have to do is click add tracking you can go to templates, click the drop down menu and say if we're going to use body measurements here, we can add those in. And then now you can see the body measurements are all in for the client. And if we want to delete that, we can just go on here, hit delete and so on. Now, you might be noticing or might be thinking, okay, Ash, I've got the results tracking sheet set up. Where do I schedule? How do I schedule monthly tracking? How do I schedule weekly tracking? I can't see the scheduling options on here. And that's because you can't schedule individual tracking. What you do is schedule the results tracking sheet. Imagine this is very similar to what it would be like inside the gym. You wouldn't have a big A4 sheet of paper uh, or a clipboard for every type of tracking that you have. You'd have one record sheet with all that data on together. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So what you do is you would actually track the individual, um, the actual results tracking sheet itself. So we're going to go over to example client and I'm going to head back over to setup. I'm going to go into tracking and down here you can see we have the results tracking sheet. So I can track this and I can schedule this in two different ways. One is by going to the drop down menu here, clicking add to schedule. We can add to the schedule this way. The other option, um, which is kind of cool if you want to add something like results tracking sheet and um, maybe uh, progress photos at the same time, the other option is to go to add item, go to scheduled event, choose the date you want it to start on, choose the time. On the event type, you can click update progress. And inside here, you can choose results tracking sheet, but you can also have other things at the same time. So like I said, if you want to do weekly progress photos as well as weekly tracking, you can click progress photos, and both those items will appear on the same scheduled item. So again, that kind of makes sense. I guess you could copy that sheet over, but could that be confusing for clients? Maybe if you've got monthly tracking, maybe if you've got other things you want to track, such as sleep and, and things like that, how will the client know what to track inside that results tracking sheet? Well, that's where these notes come in handy. So inside here, you can actually write inside the notes exactly what you want to track. So here, for example, we're going to start doing a, um, a weekly results tracking. I'm going to start on the Monday, actually. So we're going to do weekly results tracking. I want to do progress photos as well. I'm going to repeat this every single week. I'm going to do this for the next 12 months this particular client and inside here i'm just going to put in um please complete your weekly tracking just adding that extra clarity to explain to the client exactly what we need them to do and that means the push notification that comes through when they click on it on their schedule all that kind of stuff it's actually then going to appear for them inside here and you can see we've got both progress photos results tracking if we click on this you can see the note is inside here now we can click view and then they can choose what option they want to do and it's a very similar process on the client side as well so that's inside the client. How do we actually then take that so we can do that over multiple clients? Well, the way we do that is using groups. Now, of course, you can have one group of all different content inside it. But one of the things we like to do over at PT Ninja is use a technique called group stacking because it gives you a lot more flexibility. So I'm going to show you two different ways of doing that now. The first way and the simplest way is to have something like a results tracking group. This just means that you can add this tracking on whatever day you want it to start and it will run automatically for your clients. It also means you can add tracking in automatically through premium packages as well inside PTD. So let's take a look at what results tracking group might look like. So inside here, we're going to use the groups and we already have one made up. So I'm just going to show you one inside here. 
Um, so I'm going to go and type our results tracking group in. You can see inside here, I actually have multiple groups. I have a metric group and an imperial group, depending on um, where my clients are from. I'm going to use the metric one for this example. So inside here, we have a results tracking group. All I have inside this group here, if I go to the setup, is in the tracking area, we have the results tracking sheet already set up. Now you'll notice I've actually got some daily tracking inside here as well, that I've got live after five days. The reason I've done that is because we talked earlier about how you can have multiple tracking sheets inside this um, results tracking sheet. Because we do that, what we want to do is make sure that when a client logs into this, that we can make it as easy as possible and as clear as possible for them. So yes, we can put some information down there that says go and buy. Uh, so we go and um, complete weekly tracking. But if they see what daily tracking inside, then they might think, well, maybe I should do something with this. So what we've done inside here is we have weekly tracking start first, and then later on, we then have daily tracking getting ready to start as well. After five days, it becomes more apparent that we're actually adding more tracking into this and they don't have to do it all at the same time. We've also reflected that inside the rest of the setup as well. So if I go back to the results tracking sheet inside here, you can see if we come to the schedule, what we've actually done inside here is add a document in to explain how tracking is going to work. We have our results tracking in progress photos in each week with a note explaining what they want to complete. And then what we've also done down here is added in a on day five, some information about how to actually go and complete their results track, their, their daily tracking. We've actually mentioned this side here as well that we're not going to put this on the schedule. And that's an important thing to remember as well. Clients don't always have to access things from the schedule. So if our weekly tracking, we want to have reminders for them every day, uh, every week to complete that tracking. The daily tracking, we want them to get into the habit of just updating it anyway. So that's kind of how we set this up inside here. And all that information then lives inside here and we explain how to do daily tracking. We also explain how to do the actual tracking itself and go through the entire process with the client, adding that extra clarity in. So once you've actually built and scheduled this out inside the group, you can see I've also done this by days after joining. This is just so we can actually do this uh, for multiple clients over and over again. So now when it comes to adding this to a client, it becomes quite simple. Let's say if we go to our example client now, and of course we could do this inside a pre-made package too, so this whole thing happens automatically. We're inside here now, and I'm actually going to go into my tracking, and I'm going to go and uh, click view and edit. I'm going to go and get rid of these because we don't want these inside here. So I'm going to go and delete this just so I can demonstrate what's going to happen. So we're inside here now. I'm going to go to the schedule. I'm going to remove this one as well. And now what I'm going to do inside this example client account, I'm going to go to my groups, add group, drop down menu. I'm going to go and come in here and add in my results tracking sheet. Going to start it now for this example click add click ok and now it's copying all that over so we have a year's worth of, of tracking all set up for them inside here information about how everything's going to work you can see here if i go to the coaching the content is drip feeding out to them what group it's come from and if i go to the tracking all the tracking is all set up inside here as well you can see here it's drip feeding out to the client on those particular dates so that's generally speaking the the easiest way to kind of set up tracking using a results tracking sheet in that way now, just bear in mind with the results tracking sheet, if you set the group up like that and you have your scheduling set up and the tracking set up at the same time, if you was to go and remove that results tracking sheet group and click to remove the content, you'll actually remove any tracking data that they've added in. So please bear that in mind when you're doing it. If for whatever reason you feel that you would want to leave the tracking in and you'd also want to maybe change the scheduling for the results tracking. You can either do that by editing in the client account, because of course, anything you do at a client level, you can edit and it will only affect the client, not the group. Or you could actually take the group stacking even further, which is something we do at Peter Ninja sometimes, where you might have a results tracking scheduling group that just has everything set out on the schedule. Then you have different results tracking groups that only contain the content for the results tracking sheet. And that means that if you were to add multiple different types of content for the results tracking sheet, it would all stack up on top of each other and it would just allow the client to see what you want them to see. But the actual scheduling is kept separate from it. And that just means if you want to remove the scheduling, it will save all the data still that they've actually entered into their account. So there's just a couple of different ways you can look at doing it. So I don't want to go into too many advanced ways. I've covered it a little bit towards the end there. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with um, results tracking and how to schedule things out and using the group stacking technique. But hopefully these two basics here we've talked about of how to use groups and how to do it for an individual client. I'm just going over the fundamentals of how the results tracking sheet work should give you the basis to actually get up and have this all set up working properly for your clients. Anyway, I hope this helps. As always, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please do let us know. If you want to find out more about what we do over at Peter Ninja, please head over to peterninja.com. See you all soon, guys. Bye-bye. Oh,